Thank you, Barry. Coming up next on The Beat Goes On, we welcome once again John Galvin from Fortuna Racing Syndications. John is still buzzing from the exciting new Colt purchased at the ready-to-run sales at Caraca. If you love the thrill of owning and racing a thoroughbred, John is your man. John Galvin at Christmas time. Hello, John. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, Jared. Our last show of the year, John. Wow. Yeah. Ooh, Where's the year it? gone? Where has it gone? And where did the All Blacks go, John? What did you think of that uh, terrible? Well, experience? the English played very well, didn't they? Uh, as much as it hurts us to say it, they did play very well. The less said about it, the better, John. No more words about the All Blacks. But John, tell us why you're on the show tonight. Uh, you do the best explanation. It's Fortuna syndication, so uh, give us 60 seconds on Fortuna. Okay, Jared, Fortuna is an authorised thoroughbred syndicator, and I'm I'm syndicator, and I'm the director of that company. And what Fortuna does, it goes to thoroughbred sales, and buys uh, nicely bred, well put together, together athletic type thoroughbreds, like the one we're seeing in the background. Exactly, and then we. Uh, break that up into share parcels and sell those parcels of shares to individual investors. Usually somewhere between 20 and 30 investors in each horse. Uh, This is the part I love. Uh, 20 or 30 people all get bonded together. They've got a common interest and that common interest takes them to race meetings throughout the country and if their horse wins, wow, it's a great way. It's a Fantastic social way to uh, to get to meet new people, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We've had some fantastic race days with yeah. our clients. Uh, win, lose, or draw, it's yeah. always a good day out. They do. They just like being part of something. That's right. Part of something. There's some great racing this coming up uh, over Christmas, isn't there? Indeed. Well, we've just finished the Melbourne Cup Carnival in in uh, Victoria, Australia, of course. But yeah. from here on, over the next two or three months in New Zealand, it's uh, it's race meeting after race meeting after race meeting. We have the big Ellerslie Carnival over Boxing Day and New Year's Day. But that ticks through into what's called the... S- Inter Island, a summer festival of racing, and this is race meetings up and down the length of New Zealand as a family oriented mm-hmm. thing to take the kids along, bouncy castles and music, as well as watching the thrill of uh, horses winning races. It's a great family day out. But anyway, John, uh, let's have a look at uh, what's happened in the last couple of weeks. You were on the program and we saw a beautiful a beautiful colt that you purchased at the ready to run sale in Caraca two weeks ago. David Ellis was the selector of this colt. He looked at it carefully and of course one very important thing, we didn't have time last week to actually feature it because we ran out of time, but there was a a trial gallop. How does that work? Okay, well that's what we call a breeze up gallop and prior to the sales or the ready to run sale, all of the horses that are in that sale do a gallop at Tarapa and Hamilton to show the potential buyers what sort of a horse they are. And that's something we follow very closely because the galloping action and the style of galloping is what you watch closely. Is what we look for. Yeah. And let's have a look at uh, this horse that we purchased. Okay, let's watch it galloping. Wow, what a beautiful stride. So smooth, isn't it? One of the things we like about that galloping action is the low head carriage. And how, how is that a great sign? That's, that's very interesting. It just means the horse is galloping close to the ground. Yeah. Uh, higher the head, the harder the feet are hitting the ground, more inclined for injury and that type of thing. So it's, uh, it's a key factor. Now you've purchased the horse and where is it right now? The horse is spelling at Tiakau Stud but, uh, in the western Waikato, David Ellis's property. But the main thing with this horse is that he's going to go straight to Singapore to race. And that's the big question why. The big question why is a five letter word spelt M O N E Y. Prize money, prize money. <laughs> in Singapore is five to ten to times higher than what it is in New Zealand. And when this horse first starts racing in Singapore, he'll be racing for 65000 in prize money. Whereas here in New Zealand, at the same grade, it would only be 7000 and across the board, uh, the money that can be won in Singapore racing is just absolutely fantastic. What sort of success have you had, Fortuna have, in Singapore so far? We've had great success in Singapore, Gerard. Five of our horses have won significant prize money already. Mm. Uh, we have more horses going. And why don't we take a look at one of our up-and-coming stars in Singapore, a horse called Lord Roberto. Before we start, uh, first, second or third? 
just left flat footed. He wins the race. Oh, wow, let's look at it. <laughs> and give me strength last of all, coming around the turn. Give me strength and also Lord Roberto raced up to uh, the once leader, Radiant Moon. Then Risk Factor down the outside. And further back is all approved. Radiant Noir, the deepest runner with Tiger Zar, Lord Roberto in a real slogging drive here. 200 metres to go. Has got to speed machine. Risk Factor can't go on, it seems. Then Sassanid, Tiger Zar down the outside. 100 metres to go. Lord Roberto led the way. Speed machine back on the inside, but a double for Mark Walker. And it's Lord Roberto who wins the second by two lengths. Second goes to Speed Machine. John, Tigers that's third. the type of race where all your owners... There was there was two or three owners there on, on that occasion. Two or Did three. you hear the crowd in the background, though? Oh. Very exciting. Yeah. The reason for that was Lord Roberto was a hot favourite that night, yeah. so the crowd were really cheering him home. So that's one of the uh, syndicate horses that you've been... Uh, that you went to this ready-to-run sale purchased, sent it to Singapore, and they're at 165000 that night. Correct. And he, he's on track for the Singapore Derby to be run in July 2013, which carries a stake of $1.15 million. Gosh, John. Mm. What would you do if he won that? <laughs> I'm sure I'd find uh, something to do with it, Jerry. <laughs> now, John, uh, people have been uh, listening to us talking about uh, the syndication of uh, this beautiful horse, and they're saying, how do I get hold of John Galvin so I can get my name on the ownership certificate? How do they do it, John? Very easy, Jared. They can do it two ways. They can call our 0800 number, which is 0800 100 667. 667, that's an easy number, isn't it? It is. They can also call me personally on my cell phone, 021 921 460. Okay. And of course, there's the website to visit, which is www.fortuna-nz.com. 5% share in the horse is $8,500, mm. which includes all initial costs, yes. including the cost of transporting the horse to Singapore. And then each month for each 5% share, there's an additional $150 per month to cover ongoing costs. Now, John, the horse is off to Singapore, but is there a chance if uh, somebody would like to visit the horse and have a look at him, uh, is there a chance? Definitely. He mm. actually won't be going to Singapore probably until the end of February. Oh, OK. Yeah. Uh, maybe even March. Um, and so any of the viewers out there that would like to come along and have a look at the Pat, horse in the yeah. flesh. Pat him on the nose. It's just a matter of giving me a call and we can organise a time. Uh, I'll meet with them and take them out there and meet David Ellis and he'll parade the horse and watch him do his stuff great john merry christmas where this is our last show for 2012 but it's been wonderful having the the whole story unfold in front of our eyes of you going to the ready to run buying that beautiful colt and next stage we've got to wait and see when it wins in uh, singapore so uh, we'll see you next year on the show anyway 2013 looking 2013. forward to it okay thanks john see you then <laughs>